Hi, welcome back. So here I am with that, with the last video, the book that I showed you. Um, this is not one of the best books that you can get, but I'm using the book itself. I'm not gutting it to make signatures. So these are the extra pages. I may or may not use them. I'll toss them, I don't know. I'm trying not to keep too many um, uh, scrap papers. They, I mean, I want to keep them all and I can. There's, there's like no space for it. Um, let me see if I have, sorry, if I shook you. I just want to make sure that I have everything in view of the camera. Let me move some of my inks out of the way. I hope you don't mind because this is me. This is messy me. Okay, I moved it over some. There we go. I think that's better. Okay, move some of these stamps over. Alrighty, so what I do, I didn't measure. I'll do this page and then I'll show you how I did, I did this. Um, I'm not crazy about this color but let's go with it i mean it is my favorite blue is my favorite color but i don't know let's start with this so i don't decoupage i just use my glue and i have a favorite glue and um, bottle and i'm telling you i cannot find it and i'm not just i'm not crazy about this one I'm gonna have to find a little cup to put it in so when I pick it up it's already at the bottom. See it takes like time for the glue to reach the nozzle. Okay. <sighs> Where is my glue? I was using it when I was making those envelopes that I showed you on the last video and I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Okay. So I put glue on it, and let's put it this way. I always like to leave a little border around my pages. Yeah, I always like to leave a border. Okay. I squeegee my pages because it distributes the the glue as you can see and um, it kind of leaves a smooth surface and not bumpy although I don't mind bumpy at times because it's texture it becomes texture so okay so this is what I do I take my page and this is how I measure I just See how it's here like this? If I put it this way, it's going to be exact. I don't. So what I do, instead of measuring, great for those who measure, I don't. This is just me, right? we got to do ourselves. And I pull it away from the page, just like that. And I'll show you. Just follow. Have patience. This is really weird, working with a page inside the book i haven't done this in such a great while because i've been trying to practice with my um with signatures but i have a hard time with that because i really don't know what kind of pages to to use i don't know what pages to use and i really don't like recycling my mail unless i'm covering it so okay so see how it comes out this way? I'm sure you've seen this technique of mine if you follow me. If you're new, I'm trying to... I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself on last video, but... You know, new people always open up channels, so yeah. So I'm trying to group my... My, um, my videos so you can find them easier um i kind of love that so okay so now it's a little bit big it's not what i want so this is when the handy dandy um paper cutter comes in 
So I just want a sliver off, that's it, not a lot. So after it's taken out, I go back and see if that's what I want. I want a little bit off from the top. I just kind of, I find it for me, it works this way because I know what to take off and what not. So see how just, how thin, so. And then, perfect. I like it. And for some reason, it works for me. It really does. So, let's... Um, where's my little... And another thing is, you can use... Um, I don't know if you like to use stickers. Or make labels. Um, I do labels, too. So, I take my label sheets. Another tip. <laughs> I take my my label sheets and I just use it like this. I ink it. I and then by the time that you're done, you can put this through your printer and whatever you want to make. It's just it gives it a nice effect, and you don't waste any of your um, ink. So I like that. So tip for me. <laughs> Um, I have done some. Where did I put them? I just want to show you because it doesn't do justice telling you and not show you what they look like when you, when you do them. Here's my pile of... See what I mean? This this is like just scraps. And um, I keep them handy. Okay. So these are some of my pages. Aha! Uh -huh, perfect. See? So these are labels and you take this... Where's the corner? You lift them up. Let me see if you can see that. You lift them up, and then you have a label. Let me see. I need a label for that, so there you go. And now you have a label. And you can put it on anything you want. Sorry, I'm reaching over here to put it on my new bought uh, basket. So, yeah. That's what you do. Um, it, it'll work for for inks and um, and your uh, distress inks, sprays, inks, uh, distress pads, anything like that. Um, if you want to use uh, paints, you can't. But I don't know. I wouldn't put it through my uh, my printer. But anything else, you can put through your printer. And you can make your labels, and it already has some sort of, um, wait, <laughs> let me show you, let me show you. Okay, see, I just put that label there, and see how nice? Voila, you don't have to um, decorate it. And you waste nothing, because you use up everything. So, yeah, that's my tip for today. Well, actually two, right? Because I just did the paper too. So two tips. So, we're just gonna do this, right? Put the glue everywhere. Lift up the pages. Oh, and on this, um, I have other techniques too where I take the same paper and um, I cover the inside of it. On this case, I'm not doing it. It's nice when you do do it, but I didn't do it on this one. Okay. Doesn't look like much, right? It doesn't. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can find. Let's put this on the other side. Or... You can go on to decorate the next page. Let's do that instead. Let's decorate the next page. Where I like that. Well, actually, this one to bring in a, a little, a different color than blue. <sighs> yep. I get like stuck with what I want to do. I haven't done these in so long, honestly. All right, and I'm going to show you another way 
that you can do it if you like. If you don't like to do each page separately. The books may not be perfectly measured, but for most parts, for most part, they are. A machine makes them, cuts these pages. They're not done manually. So you can always fold the sheet like this, like I'm doing, right? You already traced this page. So you go in and you cut it. And remember, if it's a little big, you can always trim it down with your trimmer. Let's see if you want a sh shortcut. You can you you know, you can do what most people do and measure and that's it, but. Right there. I'm thinking, should I cut the middle? Um, let me bring it in so I can cut off from the top just a little pinch. Yes, and I'm putting them both in so they could be exact measurements. I'm not going to measure this because all the books are different. So um, I, I don't think that's going to help you any by me measuring my book. Your book might be bigger. Um, okay. So we can do that. Now, um, depending upon how much stuff you want to put in, that's how much sheets you pull out because although this is paper and it's thin it still makes your book uh, bulky still makes it thicker than normal do you know what I mean um one one reason I like to do this is because it's already bound there so um your your sheets last a little bit longer and for the first two sheets i just glue them together to make a pocket so yeah so i'm gonna go in i'm not gonna i was using walnut i think that's too dark for this book um since i'm using light colors i'm gonna switch it and to be honest my favorite distress ink is this one vintage photo i i, I just love it I really do. It's just not not really dark, but it's not really light either. I have a whole bunch. I have to break them out and start using them because to be honest, they're all different colors and I don't even use them. And I should. Okay, so I'm experimenting with you. <laughs> so let's just ink up. It's so much easier doing it like this because you do each page. And we'll go like this, right? Like that. Um, you can use acrylics. Um, you can use anything. I mean, as long as you leave that journaling space to write now let me just see if I can do yeah yeah uh, like that okay now I'm gonna I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna go back to the first two pages because I just got an idea and this one has texture to it it almost looks, oh, I wish you can see it. It has texture, it almost feels like wallpaper. So, I don't know if you can hear that. Can you see that? Can No, yeah, maybe. It's like um, boxes, the texture. Oh, and if you wanna even texture any of your papers, just if you have folders, um, embossing folders, just throw your paper through there and it'll make you look like if it's wallpaper because usually wallpaper has some sort of texture to it so okay so now the thing is do I want it 
to measure that or do I want it this way? Um, no, I think this way is better. Okay, here we go. Let's go glue, spit out. I have to fill it or use my other glue over there. Where is my favorite glue? Ugh, I don't remember where I put it. I sent my daughter earlier to see if it was in the living room and she's looking everywhere. I'm sure it's probably in there somewhere. She's just Okay, let's see. Yeah, make sure that you do like more of the edge than you do the um, middle because if you're using a little squeegee, then you can squeegee, you can distribute the, uh, that sounds better, distribute the, uh, the ink. Now, another thing is, if you notice, I just want to show you in a minute. Let me just, there you go. See, like here, they're not perfect in the corners. Um, I don't mind because that's what makes each each art that you do, um, each creation, um, homemade. I mean, you know, like personal. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I hope you understand what I'm, what, what I'm trying to say. Unique. You know, it has its own personality. I always tell my, my pages have personality. Now with this one, I'm gonna cut it just a tad bit because it's way too close to the edge. And remember, I don't want that, I don't want them too close to the edge. Although I should have done this one too because it's a little, a bit too much. See? Okay, that looks better, much better. So I'm going to turn this around. Another thing with working with the same binding from the book is the awkwardness of manipulating the page for gluing, the pages for gluing. So that's an, another con to, to doing it. So you got to kind of go with what you like and you prefer um i i don't know if i mentioned i mean i like doing it this way because of what i said with the spine but i don't think i have a favorite i, I think as long as i can journal in there or if i give them away as long as they can journal in them i don't really care um maybe I can, I'll do another video in, oh, n another thing you can use is your, your, um, wet towels, your wet little, I use, I use Dollar Tree ones or Walmart, um, right here, they only cost a dollar and to these because you can let them dry. And then you can make, that'll be for another video because I want to show you something else. But you can sew on these because this is like a strong, they're strong fabric. I mean, they turn, they feel like fabric when they're dry. So you can use that and make flowers and, and make um, edge embellishments. You can do all sorts of things with these. And because they're wet and I'm using... Um, distressed ink see you can pick up the ink and spread it and it's not so so um wet so damp that uh it's only damp so it's not oh my gosh am i making any sense i'm getting stuck now i cannot make any commercials i tell you that much unless it's written for me okay so that's done so now i want to go back to this page and I want to show you 
this this stamp that uh my husband it was like pretty big and he got four of these for me so what color should i use let's try this one and see how it works let's see the only thing about these is that your stamp has to be juicy because all right let's see so we can stamp it here see how nice it looks now with that big old block what what happened with my block was that by the time that i went to stamp half the block would be dried so it it didn't it didn't work for me i didn't i didn't like it so see how that lifted up this page again it, i mean if you have don't throw them out just ask your hubby to cut them up and then you take your old your wet one and you wipe it and voila i mean i have um uh this here i'll show you this is actually made for for your sink for your sponge i think not no 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 this is for salt chefs use this and it holds um salt in there and then you sprinkle and i got one of those chamois from the dollar tree i cut it and i put it here normally this is what i use to clean my stamps but because i want to make embellishments i'm using them and letting them dry i'll show you what i use these for when i have a few and i dry see so i gotta get it really grungy so you can always re-wet them because they're so anyway see the difference see okay so i really like that i like that a lot i don't know what i'm gonna do here but that's 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 good um let me see if i have anything in here that'll go there i just want to make this first page with you no i don't like that i might uh-huh i like this little one Look how this page is coming to life. I like that. Let me ink it up just a tad bit more. Uh, this was a, an envelope, a wedding invitation envelope, and they're like super shiny. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, was I in focus? Probably not. So this was super um, shiny and I didn't like it. We're gonna do this like here, right? But yeah, this is from We Are Memory Keepers. I love it because I have different punches, but this is so convenient that they're all there. So it's one uh, 16th of an inch, one eighth, three sixteenth, uh, one fourth, and five sixteenth of an inch, and there it's just. Let me go by it so you can see it. I love it. I really I love it because I don't I don't have I don't have that I don't have those. Well, probably in my. Um, the crocodile but this is so much easier you just grab it and and boom okay so i'm just staring at this right here this organza um ribbon so i'm gonna put this through here Right there and we'll tie it up but I want the knot to 
to land. And you know what? Do I like it or I don't know. Or should I do it? Well then I can also do it this way. Let's just see how it looks. I always like to experiment. Right there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so what do I put here? What do I put there to hold it? All right, let's 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 look in here what I can use. If you're like me, right, you're probably telling me through your... Um, through your, your iPad or whatever you're using. Oh, do you use this, use that. This is what I would use. <laughs> Cause I do that, I really do. Okay, so I'm gonna use a button. I'm gonna make this go through, I have no idea. But let's try. Um, let me see if my, does it go through? Okay, so I'm gonna thread this through here. Um, by the way, this is, I think, a uh, donning needle. Um, I'll show you in a minute. Let me try to focus this in. That's what I use for binding. So, I'm going to put the button in the back. Right? And this is going to serve as an anchor. This way. Hello. So, you're going to put it through the hole. Hmm, uh-huh. Okay, here we go. Now we have to go through the process again of putting it through. I love it because this hole is pretty big and it's not that pointy. It's kind of a little bit blunt, blunt. So you're not gonna literally bleed. Cause I take, I do my holes anyway for my binding. I don't use the needle to create the hole. Okay, let me pull it out first. Okay, put it in the edge. Come on, don't make me look bad. Okay, here we go, it went through. Now I have to get it through here. This is why sometimes I don't like to do videos because you know, I don't know how people feel about hearing someone speak through the process. But you can always speed it up. So that's why I love YouTube. You can speed up the video. Okay, so here we go. But it's nice to see that, I mean, this is how I work. And these are my videos. And I don't do like experiment get it right and then do the video i just i don't have the patience for it and i just like to explore it and why not show how i explore so see see how it looks so then we'll go in here now you can always add something else to this um maybe let me see i have another one at hand here i'll use this one Move it out of the way. Grab your. There you go. See? Just within minutes. And then here is what I wanted was to have it there. Okay. Now, don't do this. I do it because I'm used to doing it, but I don't recommend it. You can always put a little bit of glue on it, but okay. So see, so a journaling card and it's embellished, but you left enough space to write. And then when it sits, see that page? Am I in focus? Okay, let's glue it. So when you, when I glue, Okay, let me cover this up. When I glue, see the button is a stopper too, so it doesn't go all the way down. When I 
glued it my my pockets I don't go on the edge the reason why I don't glue that's another tip for me you don't have to do it you do you okay but this is can you see that I'm making a square and I'm only gluing the middle okay you axing why do you only glue the middle? The reason why I glue the middle, from my experience, is because when you glue the ends of your pockets, it tightens the pocket. So it, it glues down so it's so tight versus if you, and I mean, you can come close to the edge. I'm not saying you can but I don't do the edge completely. In this case, because it's a little bulky, I'd rather do that. So it glues it there, but yet it gives you room to play here. So in case you wanna stick something else in there, it's not tight. Um, let's see if I have something that I can show you what I mean. Like, aha, uh -huh, this is thick. I found something thick. So let's say I wanna add this cardstock I can put it in here too because there, there will be there will be more room and see how it, it lifts up a little bit see a little bit that should just giving it um it's almost like putting in a gusset without it being a gusset I don't know if you could understand that so it just gives it you know room for you to stick more stuff in versus it being really stuck in there like this and then all you can get in there is that one page so that's why i do that but see how it's coming out it's pretty maybe on here i can put some lace or something um i have these flowers um I have to put on my glue gun. See, when I sit here, I have to remind myself to put everything on. Oh, there it is. Okay, it just takes a little bit of time. Okay, so here. Now I kind of want to take that out. The middle. Here, let me pull it off, put the plastic off. See, I pull the plastics off. And I'm just playing, see what that looks like. I'm gonna need another pocket or something for here. Or journaling card, where are they? They're somewhere over there. Oh, how about a llama? Oh, that's cute. A little llama, great. Okay, so now we gotta create a, a corner. This is my thinking process. It really is. <laughs> okay, so we need to create a corner. And I think I have either this pit. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so again, we're gonna put it here. See how I'm pulling it a little bit? I'm gonna cut it here, right? Then I'm gonna cut it across. So actually, let me use the same card to go from corner to corner. So we'll put it at this corner, at this corner, tilt it, make sure that it's there in each corner. Okay, and y'all go down. Uh-oh, my daughter's coming down, so she's probably saying, I'll see you, Mom. Okay. Uh, nope, she didn't say anything. Okay. So, you could either fold it and make it a little bit thicker. I'm just saying like that. Let's just see, cut this here. Okay. 
like that. But then it's going to be bulky. Remember, I don't want bulk. So I'm going to go like this. Right. Get my ink. Ink it up. Oh my gosh, I just, I love distressing the corners of anything and everything. It just gives it life, like. And I like to get the corners because really when something's getting old, it really normally starts at the corners. Okay, so here we go. See, my my favorite glue has a um, thin nozzle. I gotta get a little cup or something where I can put my glue down. Okay, and then we'll go across here. And there we go. All right, so we're gonna put this one here like that. Right, so um, I think I'm gonna round off the corners on here. So I'm gonna do a small. And this is my favorite corner um, puncher. It's called Kadomaru. Kadomaru. Kadomaru Pro. It's Japanese. I got it online. I don't know. Uh, trying to bring it close to you see if you can see without is it focused okay just in case you want to look for that so here let's put a little bit on the edge now this came with my mini platform stamper from we are memory keeper so i just thought it was so cute so i didn't want to get rid of it because i said i would i got psyched out because i thought that it came with a stamp, but it, it didn't. It was just this card. I'll, let me reach for it and show you what it looks like, which I really love it because it's mini and I can um, use it over and over. So I'm very, very pleased with it. And there you go. Now she sits there. Let's see if this glue gun is finally ready. Okay, so we're just gonna do that there. Ooh. And just a little bit there. Okay, we're gonna do that there. Something's missing in the middle. What am I gonna use for the middle? Let's see if I have anything in here. A little bit of bling or something. Perhaps. Oh, I know. It's in here. I just saw it. I have these little tiny miniature um, brads where I just saw a green. See that tiny? I don't want to use yellow. There's a little green one in here. I just missed it. There's blue, but I don't want to use blue because the pages are blue. Is that it? Right there. So that's a little green one. Okay, so put that there. We're going to go in here, flip it around, and uh, use this really tiny one. Does it fit? No, it doesn't. So. Pokey tool. Always use a pokey tool if you can't get your. I have that, the extended crocodile, what you call it, but I don't want to go there. Now, in the back, I, I like this because watch this. How simple is that? Mm, I love it. By who? 
We are memory keepers. That's one of my favorite companies. I'm telling you, their tools are immaculately... Oh, I love them. Okay, so I don't worry about that because when I do my covering, I wind up carrying, um, covering it. So this is just simple, really simple one. Okay, um, I think I'm going to stamp this in the back, Faith. Um, I feel like I'm missing something here. So I didn't want to show you, but now I'm going to show you. I'm going to go fetch it and show you what I'm up to. Another thing that I want to bring up. So let's see, where is my water bottle? I had a water bottle somewhere. So I have to blow it because it's wet. The ink is wet because this has a... Um, Everything. This has um, a coating on it, like those uh, playing cards. So the ink is wet. So if I dry, if I put it in like that, it's gonna smear everywhere. So let's dry it. Okay, it's dry. Is it? Uh, yep, it's dry. Okay. All right. See what I'm saying? I just reach out to everything and it's there. It's like everything is like right there. So I'm, I'm really happy with my arrangement. Okay, so let's put this one back. All right. Hooray. Right. Now, um, embellishment for here. Hold a minute. I'm going to run and get it and show you what I've been up to. So, here, I have been, it's paper snippets. So, I've been taking some of my um, papers and do, doing some embellishment. I just started, so I don't really have much. But I'm going to fill this up because it's so nice to start creating and having stuff stuff ready that you can reach out and take out and use instead of you know going through each process so I kind of like it so and that one actually let me see this one that's way too much is taken from that let me see this one nope I really like that one that's the winner so that's another thing you can do um mass make mass create i don't know how you would call it but um i love it i if it, it, it feels great because in front of the tv you can sit down in front of the tv your eye in my case my ipad and um because i do all the nets netflix hulu um you name it so you sit watching and I cannot stay still for real, not doing anything unless I'm super tired. And I do these little things. And um, it's so great because by the time you're creating, it's finished and look, see? The page, I mean, you can keep going and adding if you want to, but I, I think I'm okay with this one. Except let me see something. Um, let me just see. There we go. Now, now it's finished. Now it's totally finished. So in matter of, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, and this is what we did. And see, it's beautiful for my eyes because beauty is in the eye of the beholder remember that to me it's beautiful because it's all embellished and i still have room to to journal there's so much journaling space in here you know i can write in here in between here in here little quotes little notes you know so 
that's the first two pages we'll come back for this one okay so thank you for staying with me through this i hope that um i inspire you with some of my my tips and my way of my thinking process and how i think and pull and um yeah so thanks for joining me um, i appreciate those who subscribe to me thank you kisses and hugs for inspiring me by doing that um again hit that bell so when i um upload it'll let you know nearly uploaded go check out her channel <laughs> okay and um yeah and subscribe i'll see you on my next one have an awesome day or great night see ya